Continuando nossa saga aqui no Robocop Rock City, vamos então continuar exatamente aqui de onde paramos. Estamos então no segundo vídeo da série. Vamos então à sala de reuniões que fica aqui. Vamos ajudar aqui o oficial. Vamos conversar. What seems to be the problem, officer? Reed is in the briefing room, and I have my hands full. There are so many complaints filing in that I can't keep up. It's getting crazy in here. Could you open up another line and help me? I am here to serve the public trust. Take the spot on the podium. You're a lifesaver, Robo. This line is open. Please form an orderly queue. Officer, I have a problem. My neighbors are Oscar the <coughs> I think it's because they're jealous of my new dog. Why would they get so worked up every time I take him for a walk? What is his name? He has a beautiful red coat, so I call him Fire. He likes to hide, so sometimes I have to yell, Fire! Fire! To find him. Anyway, can you do something about my neighbors? No. But I will let you off with a warning. That's fine. I don't mind paying the price to have the cutest dog in all Detroit. Next, please. Uh, I, I got something for you, officer. I know where you can find a wanted criminal. That poster over there says there's a reward for that information. And I want it. I want details. Are you blind? I'm the guy from that poster, so... Here I am. Now, give me the money. I will have to detain you. Fine, but I still get the reward, right? No. You cops don't appreciate honesty. Take him away. Next, please. Officer, I would like to report my son missing. How old is he? He's 24, but he's never been gone for so long without letting me know. How long has it been? Just over two days now. We do not consider an adult missing within 72 hours. Oh, please, I'm begging you. Something's not right. You really need to find him. What is his name and address? George Elkins, 7706 Orchard Avenue. Let me check. Your son was found dead two hours ago. What? Oh, no. <risos> Thanks for the help, Murphy. É nóis, meu parceiro. Vamos então para o próximo. I can deal with blood, guts, but puke is a no-go for me. Oh, be a sport and move his ass to the drunk tank for me. You've got your special gloves and extra protection, so you shouldn't mind. Just take him downstairs. I owe you one, Murphy. Oh no, the smell is following you. I'm gonna be sick. I don't remember getting on a... A roller coaster. I <laughs> know. <laughs> Look who's back home. Just toss him in one of the empty seats. Robo Pig! Why do you have to spoil our fun all the time? You metal freak! Ah, <laughs> uh, finally. Tá em casa, né, filho? Tá em casa. Sleep tight. Missões secundárias. O jogo tem missões secundárias, é da hora isso. Agora eu não sei até o momento se é um jogo de mundo aberto, como os outros que a gente tem aqui, como GTA, ou se ele é uma história so, isolada. It's no secret that crime has been on the rise ever since what the media has named the new guy in town showed up in the city. 
The word on the street is that he wants to spend a lot of money in old Detroit, and that has made every gang in the city start advertising their services. We need to find him before things get out of control. Where do we look? Our best bet is to see if he made contact with the Torchheads. Robo, I want you to start by checking the arcade downtown. It's become a high activity area for punks. Understood. Everyone else, keep your eyes open. Any questions? Any word on Briggs? What happened to Briggs? He's been missing since yesterday. Shit. Officer Briggs remains missing. That's over 24 hours since he's been in contact with anyone here. Are the two cases connected? No reason to assume so. But if anyone finds Briggs' informant, we might learn something new. All right, now get out there! You go ahead, partner. I need to write this report. And there's something else I need to do first. Where? Don't look at her. Sair da delegacia, acredito que é por aqui. É por aqui. É onde está os carros, que nem no filme. Será que a gente vai dirigir carro, ué? Essa cena é muito clássica, é igualzinho no Robocop 1. Exatamente igual. You came to clean up this city, didn't you? It'd be easier to burn it all to the ground. Believe me, just burn it all. Harass my customers. Then they threaten to burn down my shop. You need to do something about it, officer. What do you want, cop? Can't we have a little bit of fun? We did nothing wrong. Your volume control seems to be broken. Leave it! That's but brand new! I've only stole. Thanks, officer. É, problema resolvido, pelo menos, né? A gente já resolveu um problema. Agora é continuar andando pela cidade, né? Tem que interrogar as pessoas, perguntar sobre suit. Olha, a gente pode emitir multas por delitos como consumo de bebida alcoólica em público, direção perigosa ou infrações de trânsito, segura LT para ativar a visão Robocop e identificar as violações da lei.
One parking ticket is all it takes to improve mindfulness. Murphy, this is Reed. Mayor Kuzak just stormed into my office. Apparently, his niece's car has been stolen. Find it. This goes to the top of your priority list. You can start by asking about it at some of the local garages. For the record, it's a blue SUX 6000, registered to Melissa Kuzak. Shh, pigs. Mind your own business, cop. Hey, Robo, can you help me out here? Be a man, pig. Why make such a big deal? How can I assist you, officer? I'm trying to catch this one shifty dealer. This guy steals nuke from other pushers to sell it at half price. This dope head buys from him but won't tell me his whereabouts. I don't know any dealer. You were carrying for three different pushers, so you either like to walk for miles to buy nuke, or you appreciate a discount. Don't take it out on me because the guy broke your nose. As you can see, he doesn't want to cooperate. Do not worry. According to my directives, there are several ways to convince him to cooperate. I, I ain't gonna let it reprogram my brain. We can talk, but don't let it drill into my head, okay? The guy's name's Maurice, but I don't know where to find him. I always arrange a place over a payphone. I'll give you the number. Let's hope it works. The dealer knows where the others hide their stash. We could collect nuke from the whole neighborhood if we get to him. I will take care of it. But you need to find a payphone first. Try near the supermarket. I think at least one of them hasn't been smashed by vandals yet. Nice shiny armor, officer. Wanna be my knight? <laughs> and she takes off her top and says, Hey, this is a private conversation, pig. Is this Maurice? Listen, man, I'm really swamped with the laundry right now, so make it quick. Could you advise me how a person who would like to try nuke should go about it? You're hoping to get your first bag for free? No way! I'm selling at half price anyway! But wait, your voice. You sound like... A future happy customer. Fucking Robocop! You wanna bust me? Why don't you do a better job of finding guys who vandalized phone boots? I'm losing customers because they can't find working payphone in this goddamn... What the fuck is it this time? Anybody home? Don't hide, Maurice. It's just a friendly visit. You like to do laundry? You should try working at the laundromat instead of violating the basic rules. Robocop, you have to help me! The back of the red building by the supermarket! Apartment 6! There's some guys here! I think they mean business! Hurry! He's on the phone! A gente vai ajudar o Maurice, mas a gente vai bem rápido. Ask me for money. Only a moron steals from a beggar. That's what I said. Peace.
não, não vamos quebrar, vamos entrar com a educação. Nossa, esse banheiro tá, ó pessoal, caramba pessoal, olha, realmente esse banheiro aí tá bem destruído. Olha só pessoal. O louco, o apartamento está cheio de nuke. Aviso amigável. Maurice, estou escrevendo porque o seu telefone está sempre ocupado. Mas depois do que fez, não quero ser visto com você mesmo. Se eu te não ia se importar que você roubasse o nuke daqueles três imbecis, você ia saber se é parte dele. Ele deu uma última chance para pagar, mas você ferrou tudo, agora é tarde demais. Então é melhor mudar de endereço. Garanto que as suas desculpas não vão funcionar com os cabeças de tocha. São um bando de loucos. Maurício? Maurício? Maurício se ferrou. Tá muito silêncio aqui, pessoal. Seguir as pegadas. Guys, I'll never touch your stuff again. I swear. That's not why we're here. So what do you want? The money? I have your money. You only have half of it, and that's the problem. You're selling our product at half price. That makes my customers complain about my prices. It ain't nice, Maurice. Maybe you think that building a customer base by selling your product under its manufacturing cost is a good idea. Under what? But it's not. Such practices are spoiling the market. It's been proven time and time again that such action leads to a reduction of future demand, yours included. Antitrust laws are there for a reason. Shit, Maurice! All we want to say is that you violate the basic rules of the market with your predatory pricing. We can't just go along with that. It's unfair and unethical! Not to mention illegal. The fuck? You are under arrest. Come quietly, or this may be the last economics discussion you will ever have. Get him! Shit, man. Why did you do that? 
What am I gonna sell now? There are serious charges against you, Maurice. However, you can hope for a reduced sentence if you reveal where these three dealers keep their drugs. Or I can jump into that pile of garbage below. A few bruises is better than jail. Do you know what the likelihood is of surviving that? I know the hood better than you do, cop. So try some different talk, or I'll jump. Even if you escape, so does out to get you. You will be safer in prison. I missed our meeting. I was busy, but he doesn't get that. Doing laundry is important to me. It relaxes me. If you cooperate, you can get a job at the prison laundry. You mean, I eat and live for free? And I do what I like to do anyway? I, I, I feel like I won the lottery, man! I'll tell you where these jerks kept this stuff, but I have to have our deal in writing. Guys, they got the lottery. That's it. Vamos lá, Maurice.